I really need to film this video now, but I just realized that I'm actually not really prepared for this video. I have not done my percentage, so you will just get a photo of it here, <laughs> or in a moment. Um, yeah, I'm not prepared, and I'm so sorry. I really wanted to be, but I just realized that I haven't calculated, I haven't done my lookbooks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for my Pandos eyeshadows and I'm really really excited for this update because I can roll out two eyeshadows. This is a pretty created by Alexi a few years ago now and it's really really popular and I thought that is going to be the perfect project for me this year besides panning my Franken palette. I don't have any bonus pans for this month. Just maybe, okay, maybe I have. I will explain. I am working on five eyeshadows and one of them is going to be a Morphe shadow that I've had in <laughs> since the beginning that I really want to move out of this. But I am going to move out two eyeshadows that has been here since the beginning beginning so that is pretty exciting so let me show you the color story from last month which is very springy and light and very very nice and i'm pretty excited to say that i'm going to roll out one of the dark shades so exciting let me show you the bonus pants pants that is going to jump my percentage um and not by actually hitting pants, but it is going to change some things that you can see in the percentage photo in one bit. These are the tools that I have cleared out of this palette. So that counts as uh, shadows that I have pan on that you can't use or something. Um, so there, there you go, two pans cleared out. So I really want to have more empty pans or hitting pans since last update. In the percentage photos you can see it jumped up with three pans and that is going to be explained. The most exciting one is the one that I hit pan on and that comes from my W7 the 99 Bangkok Nights palette. I should know the name by now. And I was working on shade number four and as you can see I have pan. I'm so excited and I used it three times this month to hit pan on it. And as you can see they are double pan and I actually tried my very best not to have double pan. So it was a, a bigger pan but apparently not. I'm going to roll this out and I'm really really excited about it. The next shade that I am rolling out is my Maybelline Smoky Eyes palette. This is in Natural Smokes and I was working on shade number 3 and I have used it 20 times. Last time I changed my rules to use it 20 times and then ruled it out because I'm not wearing enough makeup for it to use things. 30 times before I hit pan and apparently I can hit pan very very quickly in products, but These shades are no joke. They are so dark and They're smoky shadows So I just changed my goal to 20 times if I rolled in a darker shadow and I did with this one And I'm really happy to have met that goal. I actually think I have over achieved a little bit <laughs> So let's take the other Hi. There's a cat coming. Hi Felix. My two babies are awake and <laughs> I need to <laughs> finish this video. Let's talk about the Morphe shadows. I did not use this this month either. There you go. Um, I have used it once since the beginning. So that is going to be my focus shade now that the Maybelline shadow is being rolled out. This one I have used once and that was like a few days ago I think. This is, oh I did not say, this is the 35OM palette. I am working on that shade if you don't know. That dark one, yeah. 
The MDK Gwen Stefani palette I used for the first time in this project a few days ago and I am working on Stark, this shadow right here in the middle and on my skin tone at least it is quite dark and you would not think that because it's quite pale in the palette. If you build it up it is a very good crease and transition shade. Moyek film. He says, no mom, I need some cuddles. The last palette that I want to talk to you guys about in this update is my Hesina palette from Gloss Tribe. <coughs> I can't talk. Throat is hurting. And I rolled in Layla, which is the yellow shade right there. I have used it zero times, apparently. I thought I used it once. I didn't. Um, I was really focusing on in the Maybelline shade and the purple shade because those were my goals to roll out this month and I did. So maybe I can go back to using this now that I don't have the purple in here anymore. I do think these three are going to be a nice combo for a look. So let me go roll in a new eyeshadow. I don't have my spreadsheet with me. That is going to be a problem. Okay. Hmm. One moment. Okay, I don't have my spreadsheet with me and I did not go get it, but I'm pretty sure that I have 3, 4, 5 eyeshadows that I can choose from. So I'm just going to choose a uh, two here on camera and hopefully it's not a dark shadow because I only I have the Morphe shadow. Um, and they're going to be fun. <laughs> hopefully. Um... If I'm going to choose again off camera, I will let you know um, and I will record my screen. And I do think it as Natalie is awake, so maybe I'm just going to uh, have her here or something. Or maybe John could take her when I finish up the video. 178 and 197. And my Facebook chat is open. But yes, um, let's go pick the shape. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was so close at getting a really nice shade uh, or a palette. Um, and then I had to re-roll. <laughs> awesome. So, the two shades that I rolled here on camera comes from my two BS Cosmetics palettes. The first one comes from... Um, my weekend festival palette and i'm really excited about this one and really intimidated at the same time and you will know why i got the shade palooza if you know the palette well <laughs> by names you will say oh wow okay challenging fun maybe I got the blue. <laughs> I got the matte blue turquoise shade. I think it's a stunning color, but panning it and hitting pan on it will be a challenge. And mm, matching with a beige kind of skin toned color and a yellow, maybe. The yellow can look like this one so maybe it matches but okay okay challenge accepted but it is a fun color for summer right and i really want to wear more blues i really do so that is a fun one the next one comes from my bs cosmetics color festival palette and that is the one that i am going to re-roll because it is a dark shade if you know the palette yeah, it has quite a few dark shades, but it's actually not one of these. It's this one. It is DJ, which is the dark matte brown. Um, so nope, I'm not getting that again. And it is a little bit reddish, so it is go it's almost like the Maybelline one. And it's very close to the Morphe palette. Going to re-roll for this one. And I got this shade, which comes from my W7 Dusk Till Dawn palette. 
and I got the shade Wanderer. And it is the first shade in the palette, so it is completely opposite of a dark shadow. So that is exciting. I do know I have a light one in this palette, but this shadow is a is dark enough for me to be a crease color so it's not going to be a dupe or something for this one because this one is a brow bone shade for me um, yeah it is a matte shadow but because it is like a beige color it is going to be a brow bone setting shade for me so it's not something that I use in the same way as dark from the MDK palette. So those are my two new shades. Let me go swatch my new color star and then we can end this video. So that is my new color story. <laughs> it is light and springy and maybe a little bit summery. It reminds me of a beach, honestly. Coconuts and water and sunshine. So there you can see, this is MDK Stark. That is a very much deeper shade than Wanderer from the Dusk to Dawn palette. Yeah, there you can definitely see the difference. Well, if you can even see Wanderer. So I'm pretty happy about this color story. I'm excited to not have uh, multiple deep shades in my color story more. So that is nice. <laughs> Such a hustle. <laughs> that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and are excited for my new bright color story. I'm s I am think it's so fun to have this blue in here. It's going to be so much of a challenge because I don't wear much makeup. But it's going to be exciting to work on a blue. See if I can create a look using these shades. I think it is very doable. But so... Four matte shades and one shimmer. Not the best odds, but two of them are quite easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Check out Alexi and all the other ladies and people that are doing this project overall. You can follow the hashtag here on YouTube and Instagram and you will, f uh, you will have, I was going to say years, <laughs> of uh, videos to watch and post to see and read. There is so much content about this project and that is so exciting. So I will go now, I will watch my I will wash my fingers and my arm and I will go have lunch with my baby girl, Natalie. So I hope you guys enjoyed and check out my other my other my other projects. English is not I can't speak today. It has been a while since since I filmed. I'll go now before I ramble on too much and I will slip in the looks that I have done this month because I am not prepared. I will see you guys next time.